What was your first kiss like? At campground when I was younger. Had met a girl there that I thought was insanely attractive and out of my league. One night we were playing manant with a bunch of other kids from the campground and everyone decided to take a quick break. We all walk up to the bathhouse area and everyone meanders into the bathrooms except for me. I didn't have to go. I turn around and she is out there too. There was this almost magnetic pull between us and we end up holding each other in our arms. She asks me if I've ever kissed a girl before. I said no. She grabs my face, looks me in the eyes and says well. Now you have and pulls me in for a kiss. Fireworks in my brain. It was the single best kiss of my life. Fell stupidly in love with her. Didn't work out, but still one of the best memories I have of being a young teenager. Edit. It didn't work out because she secretly had a boyfriend the entire time. A.R. Mayo. I had a crush on a boy when I was in 4th grade. He also had a crush on me. But boys had cooters so what are you gonna do? Yeah no. I was going to be moving out of state and it was my last day of school. On the bus ride home, someone dared my crush to kiss me. He came up to me, sat next to me, stared at my face for a hot minute, then planted one on me. Then he got up and went back to his seat. No words were spoken. I was way too young for that stuff, so I didn't feel anything. It was like when my great grandma would kiss me. Edge, if you're reading this, I sincerely hope you've upped your game since 1999. I was 18 years old, having never kissed a girl in my life, and starting to wonder if I ever would. Then along comes this girl who's a year younger than me, and we just hit it off right away. She's this overtly sexual girl, wears revealing clothes and such, and basically told me that she was hoping to have sex with me. So we had a date in the mall, and after a while, she yanks me into a bathroom and just kisses me with tongue right out of the gate. Anyway, we ended up doing a lot in that bathroom. After we slipped out of there, I told her it was actually my first kiss in addition to losing my virginity. That's why I love girls who know what they want. I was 15 years old. First date with my first boyfriend. We went to a local amusement park during the day and ended up at a friend's house to watch a movie that evening. We were sitting on the couch, he was holding my hand, and he kept looking over at my lips. I felt super orco taco. He came in for the kiss. I did the old duck and dodge. He missed. He came in again. There was nowhere left to hide. He planted the kiss. I was embarrassed at the thought of my friend seeing, and I was sad that my first kiss had been forced upon me in such an unromantic way. The relationship ended after only a month because he kissed another girl. Six years passed. His mom saw me working at a sporting goods store. She asked if I was single. Turned out I was. She said she would tell her son to text me. I was not game, but she didn't know the full details of why we had ended six years prior. He texted me. I did the old duck and dodge. I still felt that he had kissed another girl back when we were 15. He persisted. He wanted to take me out. Finally, after about six failed attempts, he offered to take me boating. I decided that I could bear the thought of being around him, as long as the activity was fun. I love water sports. The date was fun. It was a day full of wakeboarding, burritus after being on the water and finally cuddling puppies. Fast forward 4 years. We are now married. Fortune favors the bold, I guess. Great. Textbook gay teen romance kiss with a guy on my bed. I leaned in towards him while I was talking to him without realizing. While he eyed me up, I remember him saying what are you doing? Talking to you. My heart rate started going mad because he leaned in too. I literally could feel every beat. I mean you're leaning towards me so. I moved back after he mentioned it nervous and he just kind leaned towards me and closed the gap. It wasn't awkward or anything. It was perfect. There are downsides to this though. During my first kiss my chest felt like warm TV static it was amazing. But I've never been able to recreate the feeling again. Every time I kiss someone I want that feeling. And I haven't been able to stay in relationships. Because I think it should always feel like what my first kiss felt like but none compare to it. I had a huge crush on this girl and we were hanging out at my friend's house. 7th grade summer. We were swimming and flirting and all was good. His mom made hot dogs for lunch and the girl pretty much told me, if you want to kiss me later, 
Don't fucking eat, since you have braces, and I don't want food stuck in there. Fair enough, I'll skip lunch. Few hours later we are playing Marco Polo in the pool and I see her flip her aft over to where there was an air gap, and it was completely concealed. We make eye contact, and she fingers for me to come over. Met her under the raft and we kissed. Fuck yeah finally kissing. I think we had different objectives for our first kiss, because I was naive and was thinking. Shit, just stick your tongue in there, and move it around a bit, spell your name, ABCs, whatever. She went full movie scene, and started switching back and forth, grabbing my head, and slobbering all over my face. After like 30 seconds of this and me poking my butt backwards so she didn't feel my fucking 7th grade Christmas light of a boner she asked me how it was and all I could say was tasted like putting a 9 volt battery on my tongue. She laughed and swam away. After the bonus subsided I ate like 4 hot dogs because I was FEMA camp hungry at that point. My first kiss was my friend's brother's girlfriend, we'll call her S for simplicity's sake. I was 13 at the time, S was somewhere between 17 and 20, I'm not exactly sure. A group of us were hanging out one afternoon during the summer, down by some pond, that had a sweet rope swing. Friend's brother's girlfriend's friend, let's call her K, who was somewhere in the 17 to 19 ballpark, had been teasing and flirting with me all day. On the ride home we were sitting in the back of the big sub we had all ridden down there in, and she was continuing to tease me, saying how if I wasn't 13 she'd have shown me a good time. Being that I was 13, this all had me in quite the tizzy, especially when she decided to lean against me and rest her head on my shoulder through most of the ride home. When we finally got back to my friend's house, we all piled out of the sub and were just kind of standing around in the driveway chatting and Kay was still being flirty with me, eventually standing in front of me and putting my hands around her waist. She turned around like she was going to kiss me and then she just kind of stopped and walked away. S gave her a really dirty look and said something along the lines of oh that's not fair, then walked over to me, leaned in, and kissed me on the lips. It was both incredibly exciting and immensely disappointing, since I was pretty damn sure something was going to happen with Kay then my friend's brother punched me for kissing his girlfriend. I never saw Kay again after that day, but I thought about her a lot for some time after. I'm pretty sure she's the reason I'm into redheads. You know, typing this all out now, suddenly my weird hangups regarding acting on my feelings with girls makes a lot more sense. Honestly don't remember how it was, but I vaguely recall kissing a couple boys in kindergarten out of curiosity. So I guess we can't count that. First kiss that I thought really counted was in 6th grade, on my first official date with a boy. Whole date was kind of a disaster, from the weirdness of being driven around by his dad, to the depressing movie we chose to watch, to us both being young and awkward to begin with. I bet it was adorable to onlookers. You could tell he felt this kiss was going to turn this whole thing around, or at least he felt it was how dates were supposed to go. He was a little shorter than me, and I was short, not that there's anything wrong with that, but he had to stand on his toes a little. We kissed, and it was just okay. I immediately realized I wasn't really into him, and started wondering how it would feel if I was kissing someone else, then I felt bad about it. At the time I felt so much pressure to have a boyfriend like all my friends had, but after that I was like, nah, not worth it right now. I was 14 at the time, and tend to hang out with my 3 year older cousin and his friends. We went to a black metal club, and I met one of his friends. We talked the whole night and kinda connected. He was way shorter than me. Like, really short. But I was so impressed by the way he spoke, and how mature he acted. At the end of the night I shakenly asked him if I may kiss him, and he agreed with a smile. It tasted like alcohol and smokes, and even though nowadays I hate the taste of smoky kisses, back then it gave me butterflies. He later asked me if I could get him some smokes, because the vending machine was up on the wall, and he couldn't reach it. It way a pretty amazing evening I like to remember with a smile. I was in third grade, and had a lot of problems socially. I kissed one girl for the first time, then kissed another girl the same day, and told them both it was my first. Then I thought I cheated on the first one, so I threw up multiple times from guilt anxiety. I couldn't handle being at school for the rest of the day, so I told my teacher what I did, and said I have to go home. 
to confess to my mom, but I had to leave now to do it, because she got home before my dad, and if my dad found out he would beat me, not true. She then called the counselor down, and I had to confess again that I was lying about that, so they gave me a write up for it, and I got in trouble that night from my parents. Then the next day, the girls found out about each other, and the girl I kissed second got mad and hit me in the arm, so I pinched her as hard as I could. She reported me to the teacher, and I got suspended.